Hi, my name is Gary Phelps. Welcome to the Icon Universe. And today we are talking about uh, mortgage loans and the various types of mortgage loans. Uh, full disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm merely sharing with you day-to-day -day experiences and some of my personal experiences uh, within the sector and hopefully to add some value to your life. Remember to always uh, consult a professional or a registered financial advisor should you seek any financial advice or wish to make decisions based on the information that I present to you today. So there are various types of mortgage loans within uh, South Africa and what you will find you have what is called residential loans and commercial loans. And we are going to focus today primarily on those two types of home loans. So when you do a commercial loan, uh, generally speaking, the commercial loan um, is over a period of 10 years. So whilst you might take out a residential loan over 20 years, um, generally speaking, at about a 10% uh, interest rate, you would probably pay around 10,000 Rand per month. If you take out the same loan, and it's a commercial loan, and because you're not occupying that particular place for residential purposes, the loan has to be repaid in 10 years. So a million rand over 10 years, based upon the same rate, should cost you in the region of 20,000 rand per month. It's extremely important to remember that when you purchase a property with a mortgage loan, that you as the agent tell your clients that they will not be the owner of that property until the bank has been fully settled. So although they are celebrating their new home um, uh, during the process of buying it uh, through a home loan, in fact, they must be rem reminded and ever so gently, of course, that they have a commitment now to pay that mortgage back. And of course, once again, we want to encourage people to pay it back as quickly as possible so that they can get the title deed for the property. Just a little side note on this is that it's so important to encourage people because when they take out a home loan and people buy, move into a new home, you know, excitement fills the air and people buy new cars and new furniture and so forth. But just nudge people sometimes and just to remind them, you know, why don't you focus on just getting this mortgage fully paid? Because if you are a first time home buyer, chances are that you will be purchasing a second and perhaps a third property. What you don't want is to, at the end of five years, um, not having made a dent within the home loan balance, and then not having a significant deposit for your second property. It's wonderful to remind people that if they actually inject sufficient capital into the mortgage, say for an example, a million rand, that at the end of that five years, the balance might be 600,000 or it might be 500,000. Also to remember that after five years, the property value would have escalated. Now let's assume that same property is now worth 1.5 million Rand. If they now sell that property, they have an estimated 1 million Rand available for as a deposit and to cover the fees in their second home. Please remember to watch the test after this video, take the test. And as an icon property practitioner, we always like to ensure that you have a clear understanding of general knowledge within the sector. And uh, thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you on the Icon Universe next time.